so this is the video for setting up the environment for iOS, um, macOS. So the website you want to go to is reactnative.dev forward slash docs forward slash environment dash setup. I'll take you to this web page. Um, and then from here, you want to click on the React Native CLI Quick Start because that's what we're going to be using. And so, if you want, it depends upon uh, what environment you're using. Because this is for Mac OS, you can click on Mac OS. And I'm using iOS for th this video, so you click on iOS. And you just follow through these steps. So, you need Homebrew, so if you click on this link, It'll open up this web page, and if you see this command here, it's the install homebrew. If you need a different language, you have your languages right here. But all you do is copy and paste this, so you just click on this link. See it's green check mark. You open up your terminal. Once the terminal loads, press uh, command and V to paste, or you can right click and paste too. And all you do is press enter. And then you type in your password, which, um, uh, let's see here. So it gave you a link to press return to continue, so just press the enter button. Goes through, sets up all this script. So now it is done. As you can see, it has all this stuff on here. And so we go back to our development page. And now you want to say brew and so under the in installing dependencies, you want Node and Watchman. If you don't want to do brew install Node, you can just go to Node.js and it's Node.js, and you can download it from here if you want. But um, let me close these. So you just want to copy this code, open up your terminal, and paste. Okay, so this is done, and now you just go to the second command, copy that command, and paste it into the terminal, press enter. Yeah, because I have Watchman installed, it's not going to install it, but it goes through the script and it install it. So now, because we're using Mac and this is iOS, you're going to need Xcode and CocoaPods. So if you click on this link right here, it'll open this up. You can say open link. Because my Mac is out of date, it's not going to let me um, install this. So that's why I'm using the Windows operating system. But uh, as you can see, I have the older version installed. But what you want to do is download this, and the, your button won't say update if you don't have it installed. It'll say download. So just click on this link. It'll say, um, you know, download, install. But because my Mac is old, it, I don't have the latest version. It's not going to install it. Anyways. So once you download it, install Xcode. What you want to do is um, install CocoaPods, which the link for CocoaPods, I believe, well, I think it's actually down here. Yeah, so it's right here. But first, let's open up Xcode, because once you install it, you have to go through this script of uh, linking your command line tools. So you open up this. You go to, I think it's file, let's see here, open up 
open Xcode, then choose Preferences. Okay, so you open up Preferences, then from the actual menu, go to Locations. Then install by selecting most recent version of command line tools. So if you look here, it says command line tools. Once you drop down, select the most latest one. And then you, after selecting command line tools, go to the components tab, which is the left of locations. And then you select a simulator which you want to use. So whichever one of these you would like to do, just um, click and download them. So now that that's done, what you want to do is get CocoaPods, so you click on this link, and so you just need to copy this command. Don't copy the, the dollar sign, just do the sudo gem install CocoaPods, go to your terminal, paste it in, press enter, and then you have to type in your password. I already have this installed, so I'm not quite sure if it's going to install it. Oh, I guess it does. Yes. So, um... So what you want to do is install a previous version of CocoaPods. Um, so once we're done with this, all you have to do is go to where you want this project to be. Um, let's see here, where am I right now? So I'm on my hard drive, and I want to put this application on my desktop, so I'll do cd desktop, let me spell desktop right, ls, yes, react native init, and then this is the name of the project, so this project is just going to be called my workout app. This is done. Um, should have a. Um, you should have a directory on your desktop, and see it's called My Work App. Open this up, and you have all the stuff here. So uh, for this, you want to do CD in your terminal and go into the app. Order. So it's my workout app or whatever you named your project. You type ls, it gives you the name of the files here. And then you can um, do react. Actually, I think, um, see, I think it's npm install react dash native dash cli because this is the client that we're using. So npm install react native cli. It's 
um, where is it? Right here. React Native CLI. So install that. Okay, so this is done. Um, I'm letting you all know I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio for this tutorial, so um, if you don't have it installed, go to your web browser. I'm using Firefox in this case, and then you just want to search for Microsoft Visual Studio Code, and if it usually is the first one, first link, so you just click on here, and it should automatically detect your system, so you just download the uh, file for your system. And because Mac uses the Darwin um, distribution of Unix, you're going to save this file. Then you just open to the downloads folder in my case, but wherever you installed it, double click it to open it up. And as you can see, you have Visual Studio here, as well as Visual as the zip. Um, so I believe that this is it, and you just double click, it'll open it up. Yeah, vis verifying Visual Studio Code. Um, yes, you do want to open it. So when you do in download and install it, it's going to look like this, because I had it installed previously. Um, obviously it's not going to look the same, but here it is. So then in order to go to where we have our app, you want to go in the upper left hand corner, make sure Visual Studio is clicked on, because if you click away from it, it's going to go to whatever um, you clicked on. It's just what Mac does. So click on Visual Studio, then the upper left hand corner, go to the file tab, and say open dot 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 under open, you want to go to where your folder is located, mine's on the desktop, and click on my workout app, click open, then it's going to open the folder like so, and you can continue using the terminal if you want, but I like Visual Studio, so I'm just going to use this, so if you click on Visual Studio, click on terminal right here, X next to window and run, and click on new terminal. By default, it will open up the folder for you. So let's just type ls to see what we have. Um, let's see your app tests. Yes, so we're actually inside the project folder. So to run and compile the program, you do react dash native and then you say run dash iOS. You're going to get an error saying potfile.lock. Um, yes, actually, I need to do that. That was my mistake. It's not going to work because I um, did not compile the pod file. That was my mistake. But not to worry, we can refile this, no problem. So if you look on the left hand side inside iOS, you have this thing called a pod file. As you can see, it has all of these uh, different tests and targets for your project. But uh, Apple uses the pod to compile and run the necessary library as needed for the project. So to, um, to get it up and running for the Mac, you have to change the directory, go to iOS, so now we're in the iOS folder, as you can see, and then you want to do pod install. As you can see, it's beginning to do its thing and install. any current Xcode sessions for this project. 
our end use of my workout app.exe workspace for this project from now on. You know, there's 47 dependencies and 38 pods installed. So now that we're done with this, um, type into your terminal cd and just do two dots. It takes you back to the parent folder. So it's back inside of my workout app now. And you can, um, again, do react-native run space run dash ios and it will up i think it'll open up a second emulator if i'm not mistaken from here let me open up a new terminal and do npm install react This is our app. See? And you have the step one, edit app.js. So, see, and let's say step one to step fun. And if you press command S, see how it refreshed and now it says step fun. So, yep, this is how you compile and run a React project on Mac for iOS. I'm going to be using the Windows because some of the libraries that I have, again, this Mac is older, the operating system doesn't support the latest version. Um, sorry, the hardware doesn't support the latest software operating system, so I have to use my Windows. But if this worked for you, um, please feel free to follow along. I just want to make this video for those of you who are using Mac for iOS. So I'll see you back on the Windows side for this.